figures two attempts to show the diffraction pattern of water waves that have passed through a narrow gap in a barrier. State what is wrong in the wave pattern in both diagrams. When a wave passes through a gap, this is diffraction. Let's see diagram 1. Actually, diffraction does not affect wavelength, wave speed, or frequency. It just changes the shape of the wave fronts of the waves. It's clear in diagram 1 that the wavelength of the diffracted wave after the gap is not equal to the wavelength of the incident wave before reaching the gap. Also, the wavelengths or spacings between the waves after the gap are unequal. They must be the same. In diagram 2, the diffracted wave must have some curvature, not to be straight lines. So, in diagram 1, wavelengths of diffracted waves are unequal and are not the same as incident waves. In diagram 2, wave fronts are drawn as straight lines. They must be circular. Looking at the mark scheme diagram 1, you can say waves not same wavelength or not the same distance apart. In diagram 2, the wrong is that lines are straight, not circular, or other words to that effect. Question B. In the space below, sketch the wave pattern when the gap in the barrier is made six times wider. These are the wavefronts of the incident wave. If the gap is made six times wider than above, the shape of the diffracted wave will be a little different. Wavefronts will take the shape of straight lines which are curved from the ends. The wavefronts become bigger as we go away from the gap, but they are still curved from the ends. This is when the gap becomes wider. The first mark is for Diagram showing straight lines with circular edges. The second mark is for equal wavelengths and getting bigger going away from the gap. Question C. The waves approaching the barrier have a speed of 24 centimeters per second and a frequency of 6.0 hertz. Calculate the wavelength of the water waves. Water waves obey the general wave equation. V equal lambda f. V is the wave speed. Lambda, this Latin letter, is the wavelength of the wave. F is the frequency. Rearranging this equation, lambda becomes equal V over f. V is 24 centimeters per second, where the frequency is 6 hertz. This means that the wavelength is 4 centimeters. Notice that it is centimeters, not meters. Because the used speed, 24, is in centimeters per second, not meters per second. So the wavelength will be 4 centimeters.